Hey guys, this is John Muhammad for a quick update on Marvel Avengers. I understand that, you know, it's taking forever to release the DLC and that the game is quote unquote dying. But in reality, it, it's not going to die if you really just wanted to play the game for what it was. It's a co-op game. A lot of people expected it to be number one, a PvP game. They said that it's not a PvP game from the very beginning and people still like I want PvP. And then now I'm just heard about um the the um you know people complain about the power level restrictions, right? The reason that that's a good thing is because it keeps you interested and it keep makes it, you know, challenging of course. Instead of it getting boring God that light, sorry. Instead of it getting, you know, boring and bland. And two, they already told us they're working on the bugs and the glitches so that when Kate Bishop releases and all the other characters, we're not getting what y'all keep talking about as a broken game. I'm like, I'm not trying to like hail nobody, but y'all not complaining about, I just heard about a Madden 21 is having a lot of glitches like NBA 2K21 had a lot. There are many games that came out other than Marvel Avengers that's had glitches recently. And that's like their glitches are game breaking. Like where you can't like, you know, I heard somebody was telling me last night, like on Madden 21, they um couldn't throw the ball and and they had to keep restarting the game. I'm like, dude, y'all sitting here complaining about this game. This game is not that freaking broken, man. Like most of the broken stuff is happening on PC. That's why they're losing so many players. And I'm like, I think eventually what they might have to do, and I know a lot of people not gonna like this, but I feel like they might. They just might put it on console and just be like, sorry, PC. Um, I don't hate PC or anything, but it's like, bro, if you got the consoles, get it on console. That's all I'm going to say. Um, like, if you want to. You don't have to do that. I just would suggest it so you can stop having all this hell and all these glitches and all that stuff. Because what's happening is not just with Marvel Avengers. The reason Cyberpunk 7, 2077 is taking so long is because the pc like version of the game and the old gen console versions are having a lot of issues and that's what's happening with these newer generation games more and more issues are popping up with pc because there's so many different hardwares and all that so really it's getting to this point probably i pray not but it might happen where like pc begins to start getting excluded from games because it's just too many specs to keep up with. Like the console, you only have to keep up with a certain excuse me, amount of specs. With PC, you have to keep up with a lot. Because everybody has a different computer. I'm not saying that people don't have different consoles. But it's not like, you know, a, you know, 100 billion different console versions. Xbox One, you got Xbox One, Xbox One X, One S the series s series x on like five versions of the xbox um that they have to support i know eventually probably within the next year or two the old gen xbox one they probably won't support that no more but for right now i know they you know continue to do that so i'm just telling you really to be honest is going towards more console and of course virtual reality i won't be doing that I tried it one time. It's cool, but I won't be doing that because they be messing with your brain. But anyway, that's off subject. I understand y'all like this game is boring and all that. If it's, you know, like, dude, every game is repetitive and boring. Like, dude, I'm not, like, literally, Call of Duty is repetitive. It's the same formula over and over and over. Your Marvel Avengers, it is something a little bit different because we haven't had a Marvel game with the Avengers in... What was the last time? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Was it Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, which is like 2008? Or something like that. So, I'm like, I understand y'all complaining, but I'm like, y'all need to appreciate that they even attempted to come out with this game. And you have to consider the fact they worked on it for like five to seven years. Actually, longer than that because they announced it. I got to go back in like 2013. They've been working on it. Well, not about seven years. So they've been working on it about seven years. They probably was working out the kinks and the bugs. They didn't know all them glitches was going to happen, man. Probably. I don't I don't know. I'm not there. But also you have to consider, you know, COVID. I know that's part of it. I know people are like, that has a limit. No, it doesn't. Because some of the people at the studios that was helping could have major people could have died. You don't know. 
and people are doing the work at home. Like, so I, it's a lot of factors in this game that people are not considering. They're just harping on the game because ever since it came out, the people that's been complaining the most, of course, and they have, and you know, we had a right to complain, was the PC people because they have the most glitches and then people drag that out of proportion. And it's going to be real funny when another game, the Marvel Avengers, comes out, whatever game it is, and then y'all going to be harping on that next and be talking about it's so boring, it has no content and all that. Dude, every game, that's my last part, every game gets boring after a while. I don't care how much content they add, it gets boring. I don't care. It's for example, Dragon Ball Universe 2, I love the game. But I've been planning for four years. And yes, they've added more and more content. The DLCs, all that. But the game has gotten to a point where it's boring even with the more content. That's what I'm telling you guys. Like, it just, you have to, even though you may not want to, you have to find other stuff to do. Like, read a, be like, if you want to, just if you want to, just like, read a book. Watch some uplifting videos, some uplifting movies. Um, really start focusing, finding out what your purpose in life is. I understand that a lot of going through depression. And may God be pleased with whoever passed away in your family. But the whole thing with everything that's going on is that God wants you to get closer to him. That's literally what's happening right now. And I'm not about to get on politics, none of that. Everything that's happening right now, the last thing is that God wants you closer to him. And I know that's, you know, we've gone a little bit off, away off subject. <laughs> Sorry. But ultimately, I'm just saying, like, Marvel Avengers is not that bad, bro. Like, yes, it has problems, glitches, and a black screen sometimes, but they just did a patch. It didn't, you know, it fixed a lot of, you know, quote-unquote rare glitches, but some of those glitches are not rare. They were actually happening. Like, for example, I'm still getting resources from the next DLC that I'm not even supposed to to be able to get. I'm still getting resources from that. Um, So that means most likely, God willing, Kate Bishop will be releasing soon. I don't know when. I don't, I don't have no dates. None of that. They're not even putting us in a loop. And I'm not mad because the longer, the better, the more they fix it. Because honestly, like that's what happened with Dragon Ball Kakarot. People are, oh my God, it took three to four months because they had to think about it. Because they was trying to give you the most content in your DLC. Because I think originally all it was going to be, it was going to be you get Super Saiyan Blue and you get to probably fight Golden Frieza. It wasn't going to be no story. It wasn't going to be no new mode. I don't even know if they had the card mode in the works or whatever. I don't know. But it took them a long time because they had to think about content. Because they was like, the third DLC ain't coming out till next year. And so I'm like, but anyway, that's my point. Excuse me. Enough. I'm going off point. My final verdict is that honestly, all, all, all honesty and truth from all the Avengers is not that bad, man. Like, honestly, if you're going to complain about the game... And keep saying you don't like it, then stop playing it, please. Like, stop playing it. If you if you want to play it, just play it. You have your complaints and all that. I mean, even if you don't play it or whatever, have your complaints. Just play the game, man. Just like you do every other game. Even if it's boring and don't have no content. Just play the game if you're going to play it. Help noobs if you want to. Because it's really fun when you help noobs in Marvel Avengers. Because y'all power levels, you reduce, you get closer to death. All the time because like you know all both of y'all power levels are like low and it's fun. Um, and my last thing about the game that I don't like the other reason people are so bored of the game, other you know which is relating to not helping noobs. Everybody always want to do villain sectors, hives, and you know all that stuff over and you know over and over and over and over again. Instead of doing all the whole variety of missions like drop zones, vaults, of course the hives, and just different missions. Instead of doing the same missions over and over. Like there's different missions in the game. No, it's not that many different missions, but it's different missions in the game, bro. 
So my final verdict is that honestly, if you love the game and I love the game, you should continue playing it and really, you know, I understand like you have complaints about glitches and stuff. That's like you like that's game breaking. I understand. But if you're going to play the game, play the game. And if you're not, then just finally leave it alone and let it die off for you. And then eventually we'll see you guys again when they release all the other DLCs. And God willing, you know, at the end of this month or the end of December or the beginning of December. I don't even know. And then, of course, Black Panther next year. Well, no, I think, no, is Hawkeye delayed 2021? I think so. But anyway, Kate Bishop should be releasing God willing soon. So, I'm about to love about my characters and all that to get ready for that. Um, and this is it. I'm not going to really extend this any further. Have a blessed day. Be safe. Um, wear a mask. Uh, don't be going out a lot. And... Peace out. This is your boy, Jamie Muhammad, reported on how I feel about, you know, just the whole entire Marvel Avengers complaints and about the game itself, essentially.